Hey classmates, it's Tuesday. Uh, second to last day of summer. Next time you see me, I'll officially be a senior. Today we're talking about things that we like, but um, other people don't like. Uh, and I'm not really sure exactly what you want with this theme, but I'll do my best. Um, I mean, there are, I don't really know how to answer this question because I can't, couldn't really think of that many things that I like that people don't like. I mean, there are, I mean, there are a lot of things, but they're usually, like, geeky things that, like, you guys probably like and, like, don't think is weird, but I guess, like, normal people would think they're weird. Um, like, you know, like, Doctor Who and, like nerd fighting and stuff like that, like, but as for things that, like, even nerdy people don't always like, um, there's not that many, but, so the first thing that I could think of that not a lot of people that I know like is Shakespeare, and I happen to be a really big Shakespeare geek, and that's just because I happen to have spent a lot of time working with it to the point where I've kind of um, grown to really love the style and love, get used to sort of his sort of really crazy writing style. And the Shakespeare isn't something that you first think of, something that not a lot of people like, because obviously his work has lived for years and years and years and years and years, so you'd think that people like him. But most people that I talk to hate him and think that, you know, his, a lot of his work is copyrighted. Um, and that his style is annoying, and that his characters are, you know, um, character and not real, and that, especially like his female characters, he sort of portrays them in a sort of disrespectful way. And, I mean, I'm not gonna deny that that's not true. And I don't think that his female characters are that bad. I mean, he makes fools of his male characters, too. It's just that we're more sensitive about his female characters. You know, and he does have some really strong female characters. I mean, one of the main issues is, like, in The Tempest, when um, the main character is, like, really strong-willed woman, and at the end, the man sort of tames her and makes her act like she's supposed to act. And that's that's true. That's sort of degrading, but at the same time you have to take into account at what time he was writing this. But there are very strong female characters who don't happen to that, such as in my favorite one, um, Much Ado About Nothing, where Beatrice, though she does end up falling in love, remains a really strong, really independent character, and I am getting way too geeky about this, so I, I think I should just move on because I could just ramble on about this for a really long time. Um, the second thing, all the other things I could think of were like food because I have um a really weird sense of like the food I like I eat just about any kind of food um foods that a lot of like the majority of people wouldn't eat for example I really like like really really really, really spicy foods like one time I went to like this Thai restaurant with my family and like they asked me how spicy I wanted my food, like a scale of 1 to 10, and I said an 8. And the guy actually refused to give it to me. He's like, no, you won't like it. It's too hot. And so they gave me like a 5 or something, and I was like, this is so mild. I, 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 want, I want the 8 next time. Um, so, spicy foods. Um, I also like like weird foods that most people think are gross, like liverwurst and stuff. Like, I actually, I actually really like it. <laughs> and like, so that and like... Like, I have, I've had escargot before and, like, really liked it, so just, just mo a lot of weird foods that, like, most people I know wouldn't eat, and I really like them. Um, and that's really all I could think of off the top of my head. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. See ya in senior year.